What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, sun seeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is for this message to resonate. Sun seeds, please make sure you're using discernment. Take what resonate and leave the rest behind. Okay? Thank you guys for all your likes, shares, subscribes, comments. I appreciate all you guys' support on the channel. Thank you. Let's get into this reading, sun seeds. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know. Holy Spirit, divine heart, wants us to find us that way. Let's spirit, guys, my angels, my angel life, but please protect me by the the energies from my collective sun seeds. Anything that you can hide that way. Please close that door. Thank you. Thank you. What is the current energy, Holy Spirit? Okay, so we have your dreams need a practical plan. Spirit is saying full moon in Taurus. Communication is the key. New moon in Gemini. And don't let your past hold you back. South node. Okay. So spirit is saying your dreams need a practical plan. Communication is the key. And don't let your past hold you back. So I see, I'm strongly picking up on... Um, someone could definitely be trying to plan to come towards you. Okay, whoever this person is, um, someone is planning to come towards you, but someone could be trying to plan um, plan how to come towards you, okay? But this communication is the key. I feel like this is somebody who wants to bring you some type of communication, but I'm also picking up on somebody wants to bring you some type of truth, but someone feels like whatever truth this is that they communicate with you, they're not sure if you're going to um, allow them back in or not. So this person could be um, very afraid at this time. But this person is definitely trying to plan um, how to come towards you. It's just that um, every time they try to plan it, I'm, I'm getting, um, they just can't get it right, okay? But spirit is, um, whoever this person is, um, this person is not trying to let their past hold them back. Maybe this person was someone that um, weren't good with communication. You know, they just felt like they didn't have to explain themselves, you know. They just felt like, you know what, well, I did it, you know. Either you're going to forgive me or you're not. But this is somebody that wasn't good with communication in the past. Now, so so this is very hard for this person who wants to come towards you. But somebody is trying to show you that they changed, okay? Um, yeah, but this person is trying to plan how they're going to come towards you. It could be a Taurus or a Gemini. It could be very significant. Holy Spirit, give me some more messages. Please and thank you. It's something that um, somebody wants to speak up, okay? Maybe, like I said, in the past, this person wasn't good with communicating. This is the type of person that will hold things in and just felt like, you know, we could get past it. I don't have to talk about it. But it's something that's going on that this person wants to speak up and bring some type of truth. Okay, so we have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay, so this is your person, okay? I'm going to read it again. Your person, um, this is your person. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So this is someone that feels like, you know, I, I'm, is telling themselves, you know, I'm, deser I'm deserving of, um, you know, mystic sunflower collective sun seeds. I'm deserving to have this love in my life. I'm deserving to have, you know, this person in my life. But I know that there's something that I got to speak up. Maybe this person probably felt like too much time has passed between you guys. Okay? But this is somebody that's opening, um, opening up to allow, you know, to allow joy into their life in some way. Because maybe in the past, this person, they, they didn't. This person could have been very stubborn. Okay? Felt like if things had to go their way. If they didn't go their way, it was their way on the highway. This is somebody that wasn't open. Okay? Um... This person um, with your dreams and a practical plan, this person could not be doing so well, you know, um, with their career or it could be finances, I just heard. Um, someone could feel like, you know, things are not going well in my life. You know, um, I don't have enough or, you know, um, I'm still, you know, I'm still working on my dreams and my aspirations. You know, I'm not deserving of this type of connection. But uh, Spirit is saying um, you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Okay. Um, 
this person could have been in someone in the past who wasn't, you know, uh, when you spoke about marriage to them, they probably felt like, you know, oh, marriage not for me, you know, that's not, you no, know, somebody sees marriage as something different, I just heard, okay? They, they see things different. But someone feels like, um, you know, if they come to you and communicate, is it too late? A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. This person loves you. Um, this person is working hard on not letting their past hold them back. Um, this is not easy for this person, okay? It's not. You could have been a therapist this person in some type of way. If you was in a relationship with this person, you could have been the one who was always communicating. Like when it, when you handle business or when you're out in public or um, when it comes to anything, you know, uh, involving business with this person, you was the one that was always the communicator. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And I feel like that's what this person wants to do. Um, this person, um, in their heart, they know it feels right to, you know, you feel right to them. Thank you, Spirit. You feel right. Everything about you, it just feels right. But I just feel like this person is just worried about what they don't have, um, where their life is at at this time. Somebody just, you know, I feel like that's why they held back from you because of what they don't have. And, you know, this person, um, and, you know, um, to my, you know, um, to my divine feminists, um, You know if a man is not right, um, if they like, um, if things are not going right in their life when it comes to their stability, you know, um, they just don't, this person, they feel helpless. Like, this person is not going to be ready to give you what you deserve because they're not happy. And it can, it can not have nothing to do with you. It just has everything to do with this person because a man want to have these shit together, Period. And if, to my divine masculines, if this is your story, um, you can have everything going well in your life right now. And maybe um, whoever this, if this is a woman, um, you know, maybe uh, she could be intimidated because you got everything going on. And she just feels, she doesn't see herself, you know, being good enough because she doesn't have anything going on with her life. Yeah. Somebody, a yeah, um, new beginning in freedom. Somebody could also feel like, um, you know, you're getting away, okay? Somebody could feel like they let too much time have passed by. I'm also hearing this. This person feels like if they come and bring you some type of truth and tell you all the truth, um, they don't know how it will be, you know? They don't, yeah, trust. Yeah. Somebody don't even know if you're going to even hear them out, so see, okay? Anything else, Holy Spirit? Okay, so don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So this is someone that is not trying to make decisions um, based on guilt or what they think they should do. Um, this is someone that knows that um, they got to be true with themselves first before they can even come at you. Okay, they got to be truthful with themselves. And I feel like somebody um, somebody know that they weren't. They know they weren't truthful with themselves. They weren't truthful for you. Somebody felt like they let their old ways held, hold them back. I just feel like this person wants to communicate something to you. But they don't They don't know if you want to be accepted of it. Somebody don't even know. That, yeah, they don't even. They, some of them feel like they, they took too long. Page of Swords and the Star Card. This person is very apologetic. I just seen 919 on the phone. Some of them feel like you got away. But with the page of swords and the star, there's somebody that um, that watches you, okay, in some type of way. And this person wants to heal a situation with you. They do. I feel like when it comes to this connection, it, it keeps this person in their head a lot. Because this person knows what's, what's the right thing to do. They already know the answer. But, you know, um, 
this person could be used to um, doing, doing certain things that they've done in their past. But I feel like it could have been like a safe haven, you know, for this person. But this person wants to reach out to you bad. But somebody feels like you already moved on. Spirit, give me some messages from my collective senses, please. Thank you. Spirit, give me some messages from my collective senses. First card out. This person watches you from afar, picking up. They watch you. They study everything about you. This could have been a very flighty energy. Um, you know, one minute they did, one minute they they gone. It was something about this person that you felt like um, you just couldn't trust. Something about your intuition was nudging you with this person. Yeah, five of wands. Okay with the six of pentacles yeah you could have found out this person had you in competition with someone else um it wasn't like an ego it was, the, the skills weren't balanced when it came to you guys the situation wasn't balanced could have found out this person was given to someone else um this person could have had a lot of player ways about them okay and it caused you to walk away and move forward with your life okay yeah I feel like um, with the cherry, the devil, and the star, I just see you moving forward with your life. Um, somebody don't want. Somebody is not letting um, they self know hold them back. Whatever karmic um, cycle they they somebody is trying to you know heal that and close that up and move move forward with their life. Somebody doesn't want anything to do with that. Um, what they self know. It was toxic, I'm hearing. Yeah, Knight of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Somebody was just out here being a player, giving that wand up to everybody. Now this person wants to do right. Now this person wants to come in and take action. King of Wands and a Death card. This person could definitely be going through a death and rebirth, some type of ascension. After avoiding this for so very long. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. King of Wands. Oh yeah, this person, um, I feel like this person now wants to take action when it comes to you. Okay. Six of Wands. I feel like whoever this person is, they already walked away. They already walked away. But if you look at the King of Wands, looking at the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Page of Swords, it's like somebody keep going back to the past. Like, they keep reflecting to the past when, you know, um, when they put you in competition with other people. How they breadcrumbed you. Okay. This person just keep thinking about the past. Because if you look at the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups is already done walked away. The King of Wands is like, the King of Wands is looking at the Six of Pentacles, at the um, Five of Wands, and at the Page of Swords. It's not the, the King of Wands is not even looking at the Eight of Cups. That's why it says, don't let your past hold you back. It's like somebody knows exactly what they want to do. They know what they want to do. Okay? This person, um has a lot of dreams but the, it need a practical plan because somebody keep constantly thinking about what they lost what happened to them how people breadcrumb them how people put them in competition with the page of swords it's like this person keep watching what already behind them with the eight of cups they already walked away spirit is saying yeah six of wands Page of Cups is somebody that wants to success and victory with you. Ace of Swords, Spirit said that's the damn truth. With the Nine of Wands, they beating themselves up because they beat themselves up of what they did to you in the past. 
That's why spirit is telling this person, don't let your past hold you back. Communication is the key. And I feel like the, the communication is this ace of swords. This is this person coming and tell you, do you know the truth? Bring you some type of truth and clarity. Yeah, Empress. Period. With the Ten of Swords, this person betrayed you. They did. With the Knight of Pentacles. Things could have been going on for a very long time. Things could have definitely been moving slow, you know. It was something, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. This person was moving slow when it came to bring you this offer. They were. <clears throat> Give me one second, so let's see. This person was moving real. This person was moving real slow when it came to you. I don't see this person giving up, but I also see this person beating themselves up a lot. Spirit is saying, with this nine of wands being here, and this page of cups, this person is very apologetic. They are. I feel like with this ace of swords being here, this truth and clarity that this person wants to bring you. Um, somebody just scared that they took too long. Somebody felt like they took too long. They don't know if you will take them back. Um, whew. I feel like they're going to try anyway, Sunseed. They're going to try anyway. Um, somebody, somebody just sees, you know, hoping for a, a breakthrough with you guys. Whoever this person is, they know they hurt you. Somebody feels like something is over. But with this Knight of Pentacles and this Page of Pentacles, somebody want to offer you something. This is what they want to communicate with you. But in study, this is somebody that already is working on, you know, walking away from the past and basically changing their life. But they, they, it's like their past hold them back because you know, instead of coming to you saying, you know, I've been working on myself. I've been trying. I'm trying to do right. I miss you, Empress. They, it's something about, because the nine of wands, um, something about this person, um, I'm hearing guilt. Thank you, Spirit. They guilt. It's fuck. It's messing with them. Some of the, it, it's messing with this person. They can't forget about what they've done to you. And that's the thing. I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles, this is with this Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, this is somebody that wants to come in now and put in the effort. Um, I also feel like this is somebody that never gave up on you. Let me call them the Nine of Wands, Holy Spirit. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to give up on you. This person, they don't. Yeah, they're not going to give up on you, Ace of Cups. This person is in love with you. Somebody loves how self-sufficient, um, you know, hardworking, independent you are. Somebody just loves everything about you. You guys could be celibate as well. You know, very independent, very strong, hardworking. This person sees you as someone very successful in whatever you do, you know, for work. This person got a lot of love and respect for you. Spirit, give me a call on the five minutes. The hangman. This is someone that's seeing things from a different, you know, a higher perspective. They know they put you in competition with other people. They know they breadcrumbs you. They know that. This person knows that, and this is somebody that's, um, I feel like somebody that's, you know, it's it's like you sur this sur they surrender halfway, meaning that they already walked away from their past, the things that they used to do, they play a ways. I don't see the Six of Cups out here yet. They Like, I'm picking up on somebody who already walked away, but it's something about that guilt 
that it's something about their past that just like um they could be they could be um how can you say it well how, whatever how their life going you can tell that they have changed okay um they could have you know when this person come back and explain themselves to you you can see the change in the meaning to where how their career change you know um their life change but it's something about their mind that still hasn't changed okay their mind uh, makes them feel um imprisonment to you know um things that they have gone through or things that they used to the things that they have done to you and that's what they have to let go but someone feels like they need to communicate and they need to speak some type of truth to you because their dreams um when the dreams see the practical plan, their dreams might be, you know, they might be on a road to, you know, doing everything they got to do when it comes to their dreams. But it's like they get stuck when they think about what they've done to you. They get stuck in their brain. It's like basically somebody only half assing this. They, they do they half, half, um, half doing things. Yeah, with the full card. Okay. This person wants to take a, take a leap of faith with you. Wheel of Fortune. Something changed in this person with the higher friend. I also feel like, yeah, with the higher friend and the ten of wands, I feel like this person um, took a leap of faith. Okay. This person took a leap of faith. Um, the, We had the um, higher friend, the will of fortune, the two of swords, and a fool card. I feel like this person with the ten of wands, eight of pentacles, queen of wands. I feel like this person is um is learning some type of spiritual lesson or felt like um their life has changed after learning some type of spiritual lesson. Thank you, spirit. Give me another card on the five of wands hanging in, Holy Spirit. Five of Wands hanging. In. Yeah, seven of pentacles. But it came out sideways. This person don't know that uh are you willing to invest in this connection anymore? Will of Fortune. Yeah, Temperance card. Somebody wants something to change. Sagittarius could be significant. fit. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Pisces, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody don't know. Somebody wants to bring balance to the situation. What's the page of swords on this one? Page of swords, yeah. Judgment. This is somebody who wants a second chance with you. I feel like this person definitely went through some type of um, awakening. Okay? This is somebody who wants a second chance. Divine intervention is here, okay? Something is something is changing because it needs more balance, okay? Um, with the judgment, the wheel of fortune... And the temperance, um, this is, it gives me all divine timing. It gives me all divine timing. Um, I'm hearing that, you know, things are destined to go in your favor the way how you want it, sun seeds. It's up to you, whatever you choose, you all have free will. But um, this person definitely wants a second chance to make things right. I see this person as moving forward. Okay, bringing you some type of communication. And whoever this person is, um, this person been making a lot of progress behind the scenes. Um, this person could be also telling you, maybe you used to this person had a certain job. This person could have changed in their whole career, you know? Um, something changed in this person's work. But, um... This person never gave up on you. They never gave up on you. And this is somebody that wants to come in and put in the effort this time with the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? Yeah. The Hermit, Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, you could be expecting some type of good news. Um... But some of you guys, it might not be good news to you. I mean, it depends on you. It may not be good news to you. Maybe some of you guys already walked away, okay? And this person just trapped in their head, um, you know, because of, of, you know, the 
with the thought. Thank you, Spirit, with the thought or the idea of have lost you forever with the um, Eight of Wands and the World card. Something could be completely over. Ten of Wands. Somebody could be definitely learning some type of spiritual lesson um, for how, how they treated you. Nine of Swords. They stressed the hell out. Yeah, Seven of Swords because somebody was being sneaky. Queen of Wands, the Fool card. Two of Swords. Maybe this person, this is your divine counter for a king to the queen. Maybe this person didn't see you um, taking a leap of faith on yourself. Like I said, with the Hermit and page one, this speaks about good news. You know, this person could be coming to you telling you how they change and you know how they want to do things different this time. But for others of you guys, it may not be good news to you because you probably like this person was sneaky as hell. Nine of Swords, you know, I have learned what I needed to learn from the situation. I'm going about my business. But somebody else with the Nine of Swords and Ten of Wands is heavy on this person. Because this person wants to come and bring you some type of truth. But they don't know if you're going to hear them out or not. Anything else, Holy Spirit? From my collective sense? Anything else? So we have the Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Tower like this person got a sudden epiphany when it comes to you and who you are and how much you mean to them okay this person wants to you know recon a reconciliation with you this person wants a reconciliation with you a new opportunity for things to change okay but they don't know if you're going to accept them yeah past life relationship you have known each other before wedding this situation involves a marriage so somebody could see you as someone that they will you know would like to get married to and we have this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek unrequited love flirt yeah a lot of you guys could like i said earlier you could not feel like this is good news to you because you could felt like in the past this person gave you unrequited love um this person didn't do right by you, okay? A lot of you guys like, yeah, they change, but I change as well, Mystic Sunflower. But this is how this person sees you now. This person sees, like, they see you as somebody that they can marry, you know, that they can spend their life with. They see you as the one. Thank you, Spirit. Past life relationship. But I feel like with the unrequited love, uh, you guys felt like it, it, was, it just wasn't enough it wasn't enough in the past to keep this connection going because this person was all over the place. Yeah. Calling in so may express your love, make the effort. I feel like this is what this person wants to do now. They want you to trust them. Keep an open mind, religious factors. So you guys could share two different um, religions. But we have reconciliation. So it's up to you guys. Okay? This person is definitely coming back, Sunseeds. They are. Okay? <laughs> All right. Well, I hope this video helped you guys, give you guys some type of clarity on your situation, Sunseeds. And so we get up in the next video. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. I love you guys. Namaste.